Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful morning in Southern Vermont. Um, we are really lucky. All that really hot weather is mostly past us. We still get 80 degree days, but it was 50 degrees sleeping weather last night. Morning, Freddie. I hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, guys. Is that better? Let me get you some water. So it's Milo and Wilma at the feeder and the left one is Milo. So he's the young gander and let me tell you, he is starting to push his luck. I've heard that of course, young geese have their teenage years too. So I think he's in it. Snowflake Fred. Wilma and Pansy. She's our young, young girl. And this is Milo. I don't know if he's going to show you right now, but he starts pushing everybody away from the food. And uh, Fred gets after him once in a while. And some of the other girls do too, but he's starting to push little Pansy away. So every once in a while, I catch him and just snuggle him. He doesn't like it. But I snuggle him and let everybody else feed. And I know it's like I should just let them deal with it. And they will. But, and boy, Snowflake has a fit anytime I grab the young ones. And Fred just stands off like, okay, she's not going to do anything. All right, who's going to be first today? One, two, three. <gasps> it's Edie. Followed up by Ico. Elvis and Amandola. Oh, Cindy took the lead. Miley. And who else is last? Is it going to be you, Ash? He's just going to jump. He never uses the ramp. I kind of use the ramp. Hi, Gronk. So who else is in there? Little Miss Coco, little Miss Sadie, and I bet you... <laughs> I started covering the uh, nest box because they're sleeping in it, so she just slept on the top. I need to adjust that. Guys, I've started fermenting their feed, but I'm just not sure about it. I think the pellets doesn't work as well as maybe whole grains, but we'll see how they like it this morning. Who's hollering at you? <laughs> <laughs> Is, oh, I have it covered, don't I? She wants to lay her egg, and I still haven't uncovered it. do this but please don't stay in there all day mama's gonna come and check you later and kick you out oh still have an egg eater like right here i can see yolk huh is that better <laughs> just gotta get it just right a little of a dilemma when it comes look she wants to go in and lay her eggs in there which is a really nice coop to lay eggs in 
Freddy's in there, and when I let him out, he uh, fights with Ash, and I don't want that. But they're getting used to laying in there, so um, it's a dilemma. When I get um, Freddy a new home, then of course I can have this open during the days for them. But he had yesterday out, so he is going to stay in there. And the girls have to use the coop. I'm leaving the coop open today. Which is trying to find a spot in there too, and it's not quite right. No, no goose food for you guys. Nope, I had to put it up on blocks because I think this was upsetting their tummies because everybody was getting the vent leak messy bottoms and as soon as I stopped their access to the goose food it basically stopped every time I try to do like a whole uh, sled full it just is like this little see this little hole right here that filled the whole sled so I did some research yesterday and of course it needs water and air so I actually took the hose and just soaked it but I made it to where there's holes I tried to push the water down in it so I'm hoping that's enough and maybe I can get this uh, down a little bit more for winter. He's like, look, a treat. So instead of wasting the water from the goose pools, I'm going to try to use it here. We'll see if that works. Well, I'm not sure if that's going to work because it's going to be interesting. Of course it's kinked. <sighs> I hate this hose, you guys. I went cheap. And I get a lot of uh, this one exercise. Does, like, kind of, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be like saddle shaped. I'm just making all this noise in here. Meet you again, Miss Iko. I know, I'm sorry. I'm not sure this is such a good idea. All right, I'll just let it. Just let it be like a more of a flat spot. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a big dip here, and then there's a big dip here, which is why there's a big hump here. I think that's as much as it's gonna get. I'm gonna start another project today, and it is this area. This has kind of been like our dump area for stuff that we didn't need since basically we started here, since we moved here. So I have things like the plastic roofing, there's all kinds of pieces of trees that's fallen, there's stumps, there's a huge old tarp that we put on our RV when we uh, first moved to the property. There is one of these, um, carts these metal carts and to be honest I hated it it is not great for you know rough uh, rough terrain I just struggle with it so actually it's been there I think it's been sitting there for like five years um so I'm almost wondering so all this stuff has to go I'm almost wondering if I should just empty it and sell it because it's just not being useful She's still looking for a place to lay her egg. I'm going by the back of the house and this is where I'm gonna put all that stuff. We have a huge pile of um, old wood and stuff from our house build over here. And I wanna kinda get it closer to that. So I'm probably gonna put it right here. 
This is a, this isn't a spot we use. I don't have to worry about snow, snow blowing or, or anything. Uh, so I'm gonna put it here. It's too overgrown for me to get it all the way over there. So every year or two, we get um, one of those big garbage bins. We rent one of those, we fill it up. That way we don't have too much stuff piling up. And that's my hope. If it's something that we don't think we'll reuse, then we'll get rid of it. Now, during that time, I'll try to see if anybody else can use it. Um, I usually try anybody in our town first, um, but we do really keep the majority of it. So it would only be stuff that we would never use again. And honestly, you guys, if you're just starting a homestead, keep everything. Keep everything. I'll walk around when I'm doing a building project and I'll see a piece of wood on the ground saying, oh, I can use that for this. So don't throw it away until you absolutely need to. I think Gronk is Ash's favorite. They tend to be together. He follows her around actually. So he's just kind of protecting her while she dust bathes. Good dust, huh Gronk? I am not sure about the fermenting of their regular pellet food. It's watery, watery mush. Um, according to the recipe, so that it ferments, it needs to have that amount of water in it. This is day three, and they're not going after it like I see other people's. I didn't want to get some of the more expensive, sorry, whole grain feed, but I think I'm going to, and I think I'm gonna try that. It's expensive. Um, maybe I'll do a combination of that and the whole grain scratch. I don't think the scratch is, um, as nutritious, but maybe if I do it together, but then they probably just pick out the good stuff. So I'll try and I'll let you guys know how it goes. See, nobody's around it. And again, it's just kind of watery mush. I was actually looking for this rake for two days, you guys, and... I ended up realizing I had put it away. <laughs> it's the one spot I didn't check. <laughs> you know, when I got the geese, I wasn't quite sure how to um, house them. I wasn't sure about what do I use for bedding. I don't like using hay. It's so hard to like clean up and stuff. Just doesn't seem as... Um, quite as absorbent as some of my other stuff. So I decided to try the shavings and it's been working really well. Um, they're eight by 10, no, four by eight coop. Um, I usually only need um, one bale of shavings a week. And I kind of stretch that out by um, every morning, I fluff it all up. I make sure any wet spots are um, exposed so that they dry and I do it first thing in the morning because I can smell the poop in the morning but by mid-afternoon if I don't smell anything and I usually don't if I do I give it another um, stir and I actually added another bale the other day so there's actually two bales in here right now and then um, but if I smell it before I put them to bed I take it all out. It takes me literally five minutes to clean this out and uh, add another bale of shavings. <gasps> I opened it. You're not supposed to be in there. No, I don't. I never find your eggs until I'm cleaning it out. Come on, Iko. No, <laughs> get out of there. No. Come on, Iko.
not done with the roof yet and it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. So I was keeping that open for them to lay and I think I kind of stressed my chickens out because I never seem to have consistent laying area. I wonder if I should just let them lay in the goose coop. I think I'm gonna. I'll just have to go egg hunting later. You guys want to come in here? One of my projects focus on more laying boxes in the coop. Hi, Elvis. Hi, Miss Cindy Lou. This is how far I've got. <laughs> this thing here was um, for our snowblower during the winter. And I'm gonna need help from Bill to get that out. I put it in too securely. It's just a T-post. And then all the other ones were part of this chicken yard. Almost fell again. That Bill took apart for me to build a secure roof. And what I did was throw them over the embankment here because we would end up using them for a garden next spring. So I'll just bring them to the other side and store them. Bill wanted a couple anyways. The geese are telling you guys bye too. I so need a haircut. <laughs> Pretty much why I wear a ponytail most of the time. It just gets in my face. That's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.